When I did the video, South Tower Smoking Guns, I called attention to the downward moving projectile that raced ahead of the rest of the falling debris while trailing white smoke. I loosely referred to it as a rocket projectile because of its appearance, but I wasn't really certain that the material emitting the smoke was providing enough thrust to literally act like a rocket. I assumed that the fast downward projectile was kicked downward by an initial explosion which gave it its high speed. Once it was in motion, gravity would continue to pull downward, and air resistance would provide an upward force, so the acceleration should be actually less than gravity alone. In fact, at its higher speed, the air resistance would be greater, so I would expect its acceleration to be even less than surrounding slower moving objects. This projectile came up in a discussion with Niels Herrett at the Toronto hearings. Niels believes we are seeing nanothermite in action, literally acting as a rocket propellant. I figured it was the cause of the smoke and fragmentation that we see in other projectiles, but I was not convinced that the unconfined expanding gases on an open surface by itself would produce significant thrust. So I decided to take another look. I went back to a clean copy of the video released to the International Center for 9-11 Studies through a FOIA request. I registered the frames to compensate for the camera motion and brightened the images. When I tracked the projectile, I noticed there was an outburst of white smoke part way down. I was surprised to find that the visible outburst coincided with a slight change in direction and a very noticeable change in the downward acceleration. Prior to the outburst, the downward acceleration was about a third of gravity as I expected. Since this object was already significantly ahead of its neighbors, this is evidence of an initial explosive kick launching it downward. In the half second following the outburst, however, the downward acceleration rose sharply to 15 meters per second squared, or about one and a half g's. Thereafter, the acceleration continued, but fell back to a little less than g. The outburst gave the object a major kick, and then continued to provide enough thrust to largely compensate for air resistance. It is clear that we are looking at a very energetic material on the object. Niels is right. We are looking at a literal rocket projectile. The object, by the way, appears from other photographs to be a perimeter wall unit 30 feet long, 10 feet wide, and weighing about 4 tons. To accelerate something that massive required a major kick indeed. From here on out, I'm taking the quotes off the phrase rocket projectile.